this is that video that is going to make you feel so good because i'm sure that you have wondered why the narcissist always ends up winning but not in this case not in this case my friends in the end when all is said and done the narcissist ends up losing and they do my friends they end up losing watch this video because i'm going to explain everything Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope that you're all doing really well. I really hope that you are. So in today's video, I've got that video, you know what, that is just going to confirm, that's going to validate everything. The narcissist, the narcissist ends up losing in the end and they do, okay, they do. And I'm going to explain why this happens why this is a thing, why this is a phenomenon, and why no one ever really talks about this, because all you see, all right, all you see is how well the narcissist is doing, they've moved on, they've got new supply, they are looking good, they're feeling good, they're living their best life, or so it seems, or so it seems. I'm gonna be talking about this in the video. But before I do, my friends, I just wanted to let you know that I do go live on this channel once a week, and, it's so much fun. I've got to say it's so much fun. If you have a question or if you have something that, that's on your mind and you would like a quick answer to, I would say join the live because you can get your question answered there and then. And you know what? You need to check out the chat as well because there is this really lovely supportive community. See, if you don't believe me, check it out. Okay, so please see the description box for more details and please join the live. So, the narcissist ends up losing in the end. Well, what does that statement actually mean? All right, so look, narcissists always portray that they are better off, that they're doing so well, and even in the relationship, that you kind of never know who they are. You never get a real grasp of this person. Who they presented themselves right at the beginning of this relationship is certainly not who they are when they leave this relationship. Okay, and so their personality, who they are really actually just changes within that whole kind of period of time that you are with them. Okay, and in that time, think about it, they're always showing you, okay, that they are doing good, that they are all right. Even if you ask them, are you doing good, are you okay? They're always gonna say yes. They are never gonna be vulnerable with you. They're never gonna be open and tell you that maybe they're struggling with this, or this isn't, this isn't working out for them. They're always going to make out that actually they are doing really well. They are good. And you see, this is their defense mechanism. They do this because they just, they see emotions, talking about emotions, talking about how they feel a vulnerability. And they don't want to be vulnerable because remember, <laughs> remember my friends, they have spent all of their lives trying to deflect from this, trying to get away from the fact that actually maybe they are not okay. And so if they are open, if they are vulnerable, then they reveal elements of the fact that they are not okay. They don't understand that actually being vulnerable is all right to do that. So they don't really give you this emotional exchange within this dynamic that you have with them. So the fact that when it comes to the point Okay, when all is said and done, the relationship is over, okay, they always want to show that they are doing good. And think about it, right? So usually they're the ones that leave. They are the ones that run off, okay? And they are the ones that just call an end to this relationship. Or maybe the fact is that you just can't handle it anymore like you are just I'm done like I have had enough and of course you're going to say that but the fact is is they have caused you to come to this conclusion so it's kind of like they kill the relationship so when that happens they then smear you they then put you down they make everyone believe that you are the issue and usually that's done via you know like other people, they go around to other people telling them that you are not all right. That there is something wrong. They had to leave this relationship because of you. And then, added to the fact, they go and find someone else. They go and find another person. Okay, so it's always overlapping. They're never alone. Funny that, isn't it? They are never alone. And you know why they are never alone? Because they can't stand the fact that if they are alone, 
They need to have the attention of others. They need to have their mind occupied or they need to be entertained because if they are alone, they then start to think about themselves. They start to think about what kind of a person they are, all of their vulnerabilities, all of these things that they're trying to hide comes to the surface because it haunts them. Believe me, it haunts them. So when they have got the company of others, when they, when they are with other people, their mind is occupied with other things. And so that's why they can never really ever be alone. So that's why there's always this overlap in relationships with people, with connections, with friendships, with this, that, whatnot, you know, so they've got someone else. And then to add salt to the wounds, they are saying that this person is their soulmate, that they are doing so good with this person, that they have never felt a connection like this like ever before. And of course they're going to say that. Of course they're going to say that because that's all lies. That's all an illusion. And I talk about this quite a lot in the videos. It is all an illusion. Remember, people can say and do things, okay, that they don't mean. They're telling people something that they want to hear in that moment. And remember, they did this with you. They did this with you in the relationship, the gaslighting, the love bombing. They told you what you wanted to hear. So don't think that they're going to change and suddenly they are with this person and all of their life is amazing. Do you know, like, if you really think about it, like, if you really think about it logically, that is impossible. You can't just leave a relationship and in a matter of hours, days, weeks, or months, you've moved on, and then you suddenly have the love of your life, the, the, the soulmate relationship. I mean, seriously, think about it. Seriously, this doesn't happen. This cannot happen. It is not physically, emotionally, and psychologically possible. But the narcissist, the narcissist manages to make you believe that that is the case. And so what happens is they repeat this cycle. Because whilst it's amazing at the beginning, the narcissist will repeat this cycle. They will behave the same way that they were with you. At the beginning of your relationship, didn't you feel like you met your soulmate? Didn't you feel like this was the most amazing relationship? Probably. Probably you did. And what happens is, well, look at where you are now. You're trying to understand what has happened, what is going on. And believe me, the new supply is gonna be, is gonna be that as well. They're gonna be going through this as well. So this is one thing that you need to remember, is that they don't change just because they have left you, just because they've smeared you. So in this, the narcissist is gathering more people. There's more people around them. They're in this new life. They are doing all these new things, but they're losing out. And the reason why they're losing out is because they are never actually happy. They go from one person to the next, from one corner to the next. Why are they never happy? Why does it always look like they've got to pretend that their life is so good? Have you ever stopped to think that actually this is just a facade? This is just what they want to tell you, what they want to show you? They're never happy because internally they can never be happy. Okay, they are not content. There's always something going on. There's always this negative narrative. There's always this doubt, this shame, this guilt. Remember, they will never tell you this and they'll never show you. But internally, this is what is going on. They never feel satisfied. This is why they show you with these impulsive behaviors. One minute they're like this, then the next like this, then they're raging, then they love you. There's no stability in emotion. So think about it. How can someone be happy? How can someone live a life that is fulfilling, that makes them feel good, that, is, that means something to them, that they can attach meaning onto this? There are some, they're people that don't feel their emotions. they are people who don't understand social cues. They live a completely different perspective in life than what you do. How can someone be happy? So they always end up losing out because these internal processes and these neural structures within their brain prevent them from being able to really embody that moment, embody themselves, understand themselves. This is, this is 
This is the crux of the disorder, my friends. This is the crux of what is going on. They are not really embodying themselves in the moment or with you or with any other person. They're listening to this narrative that's going on in their mind. And believe me, it is never positive. Even though they show you this, this positive posture of theirs, that they are so amazing, that they're so wonderful, like nothing, nothing ever affects them, that they are so good, their life is brilliant. But underneath all of this is this broken person. And you're not going to ever see that. You are never going to actual, actualize this and see it for what it really is because the narcissist hides this. And that is another part of the disorder. They're hiding this. They don't tell you. They are hidden. This is the reality that they live every single day. And it doesn't change. So in the long run, the narcissist always ends up losing out because... They are never really themselves. They don't bring themselves to the table. They can't because they don't know who they are. They're completely detached. And because of this, because of this, they are just repeating childhood patterns. This has never been looked at because, believe me, they don't believe that anything is wrong with them. And if they did, it would damage them so far that they would go into an oblivion. They wouldn't be able to handle it. So this is how the narcissist always ends up losing out on everything. On everything that happens, literally everything. Don't believe the lies. Don't believe the illusion that they are showing you. Because you know as well as I do, they're full of lies. And it's all about the lies. So I really hope this video has helped you to understand that they don't win in the end. They don't win ever. If you are someone that is going through this, please know that I do offer one-to-one -one consultations. Please see the description box below. I also have a mentorship and a journal club. And this is a great tool to work alongside existing therapy or counseling that you are having. Please see the description box below. I also have a Discord server, which is absolutely free for you to join. And this is a community of like-minded individuals. You know, someone that maybe if you are going through something and you want someone to talk to, this is the thing, this is the place. The Discord server is the great place to just connect with others. It's secure and safe for you to be able to explore that with others. Please see the description box below for the link. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.